Let's fight this guy together. I'm gonna flash him. Give me some flash. I'm flash from my side. Last player standing. One enemy remaining. You lucky. You lucky beast. Okay, this man's pretty messy. This man's really messy. So you take big control and you get in position to win the rest of the round. Let's go up to B. Then your guy dies. B main. B main. Healing. Healing B main has a vendor. And like, we have to do everything in our power to stop this from happening. We gotta be more vocal about this. Like, yo, wait, we can fight it together. Or even like, yo, I can ult for info. Yeah. And then in the clutch, you kind of demonstrate that you're not really a, a smokes player, even though I think you are a smokes player. Let me take a look at your tracker. Yeah, you've played enough smokes that I'm pretty sad you're not throwing a smoke down. Could have one way spike? Hell nah, dude. No, 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 no. Who cares about that shit? You think this guy's sticking? I don't. I think they're walking. And you probably think that too, because you got your gun out. All you do is huck a random smoke. Out. And then you press TP and you hecking TP somewhere. Like, look at this play, dude. Like, come on. I'm just making this shit up. I don't act like this isn't sick. Like, that's free. Like, they're over here diffusing. Then this smoke appears. They know your pillar. They hear a TP. They think you're in the smoke. And then all of a sudden, you're goddamn rafters, bro. Like, that is omen. Whenever you're, contr whenever you're omen, you're in the clutch. I need you to burn a smoke. I need you to burn a TP if you got it. And here, like, the TP is kind of asking to happen over here because you can silently come up the rope. And, like, this seems so strong. This seems so strong. I feel like this is 80% clutch conversion at that point. So I'm sad. This clutch is so, so lazy. You're playing Omen. You've got two TPs and a smoke, and you just dry fight. It's not cool. Wait, we got to kill off flying. Oh, random smoke! Random smoke! Random smoke! 78, Reyna. That's after door. Oh no. Random nice. smoke, Diff! I taught him that! I taught him that! Oh! This is good crosshair placement. They're totally back there. Oh, baby. That smoke's gonna fade. He needs to be tucked. He needs another smoke. Yeah, I would have been tucked when that smoke faded. Cover going out. 30 seconds left. I have the spike. Ah. Uh, he has the right read, but he's not confident in it. Like, if he thinks Reyna is main, then you should be TPing. As if she is definitely main to kill her. That was really close though. Oh! oh I won. Too easy! Too easy! Flame. Plus zero or what? Oh, I wish I clutched the against the Reina. Oh, that would have been so cool. Yeah, yeah. I was saying I would have TP'd into main. Oh, I was thinking about that, but I was scared that... Uh... You just got to throw the fear away, man. Ooh. Oh, the red rank! Let's go! It's so beautiful. And our art is fair. It only took them having two AMK. Easy. Easy. <laughs> Easy and deserved. Congrats oh on your rank God. up, dude. Thank you for playing. Did you know only 420% of the people who watch my videos could actually receive free VOD reviews? Really? It's true. Even me? Absolutely. <laughs> wow. I'm going to join the Discord to learn how. Then show up to a VOD review stream to get some of that potassium wisdom. No scope right to my brain. And that's not all. I'm also offering free Valorant gift cards to anyone who makes yes. successful improvement based on my coaching, made possible by the support of the Generous Knowers Guild on Discord. So what are you waiting for? Hit us up and enjoy the video.
What's up? You guys want to just run it up mid? We're going to start. We just break the stage wall. And uh, us make off mail. We get vent control. And then we can decide what to do from there. Brings a tear to my eye, chat. They grow up so fast. Take some mid control. Decide where we'll go from there. It's so good. Or I'm smoking bell, not vents. All broken. Man. Oh man, ropes yeah, control you shouldn't have. <laughs> You're reloading in the. What the fuck? You've got nothing. Yeah, <laughs> no. Bro, 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 bro. Who the hell reloads while walking towards danger? Look at what your sky's doing while she's taking out not her gun. She's going into this little corner. Cover. Are you reloading? Why aren't you hopping over here? You peace. Fuck it. Stop. Stop. I'm talking off CT. Stop. This is good. Uh, your angle's bad. I have put up Valorant because I'm going to need it open anyways. But there's like a really good angle here that you're kind of missing. There's two of them and I don't really care which one you play. Corner of Raptors in the boxes, right? Then why aren't you there? Then why aren't you there? CT, CT. Huh? A big guy? If you're so knowledgeable, then why the hell are you playing the odd angle? You got a sage wall here, so they can't come there, which is lit. So yeah, this angle is really good. You even play over here. You don't have a good reason why you're overly scared of CT. It smoked. It smoked. They can only shoot you once you're out. Once they're out here, you smoked it. When's the last time you came out of a smoke CT and post plant and you looked up here first? Dry. And even if you did, they're still dead to these guys. CT, CT. You even have another one. I'm watching mid. Oh my goodness. Have have two two Bro, take your free kills. The smoke has got you. Look, she's even holding it. See, look, look, see, see, see. Look, look, look. Okay. Dumbass Jet tries to peek out looking left. Look what happens to her. Laid out. She gets laid the hell out. Not a threat, bro. What the f Anyways, do you see? CT's not a problem. It's only a problem if you if you don't trust your teammates. And not trusting your teammates is insecure and cringe and unbased. All cool people trust their teammates, even though sometimes their teammates let them down. Victor Garage. One health. One hell dead. <laughs> Man, yeah, that smoke One is just trash. Nice. There's this Victor Garage. We all have guns, we all have guns. All right, I give this round macro wise like a 10 out of 10. But the way you actually play the round, like you yourself or you're the post player, I'm giving it like a 2 out of 10. You are so insecure and it is so not cool. It is really not cool. How much you kept looking at CT down. Our trash raise whiffs feels bad. Well, why are we going mid? Why are we going mid? Why are we going mid? Walk me through it. So you give the smokes for the dudes. The dudes are scaling off site. But at this point, if they decide to hit A, you're not getting there in time anyways. Why aren't we lurking exactly? We're on an eco round. Nothing to lose. Go TP onto a sage wall or some shit. I'm down. I'm not sure why we're going back to the team here. You gotta at least break that mid wall. You even heard it and you're calling it. Oh, that shit's gotta get broken. Because otherwise they can all just comfortably rotate through mid. Not worrying about anything. Oh, Renner, you're alone. Can't see anything. Switch me, switch me. Oh, you are crazy. Like, why aren't you just turn around now and running it? What, what's up with this? I needed vandal nonsense. He's in there with the D. Nice, nice kill. We take mid control, we yeah, win the round. Wait, 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 wait. Healing B main, how's a vendor? Wait, why don't we just go A? What? Healing B main, healing. 
We're dead. Let's go up to B. Main. Right here. B main. Healing. Healing B main. How's a Vandal? Or at least okay. tell oh Vayner to wait. Let's fight this guy together. I'm gonna flash him. Give me I'm a second. Flash, flash from my side. Last player standing. One enemy remaining. You lucky. You lucky beast. Okay, this sounds pretty messy. This sounds really messy. So you take big control and you get in position to win the rest of the round. We're dead. Let's go up to B. And then your guy dies. B main. B main. B main. Healing. Healing B main. How's a Vandal? And like, we have to do everything in our power to stop this from happening. We gotta be more vocal about this. Like, yo, wait, we can fight it together. Or even like, yo, I can ult for info. Cause you need to make sure you convert this numbers advantage. But instead we get 50, 50, 50, and we, yeah. we lose the round. I think you're frequently too panicked or like unwilling to make an assumption. Like right here at this point, after Reyna kills Sage Heaven, to me, and you kill Omen here, to me, it's very obvious that jet is here right now and we see Reyna here so like i'm not worried about anything i'm just gonna look at my mini map that makes sense because jet's the a site player we haven't seen her at all we just fought hard for mid if jet was here she would have fought by now so she's definitely a like she's not tucked back b site while her duelist pushes it to be main let's go up to b so like jet is almost 100 million percent like here right now and so there's nothing to be worried about over here. I would just be focusing on this right now. Let me pull up Valaplant. Yeah, yeah, drop the link, drop the link. It is round five. Five. Oh, there's Jet. Yeah, you were like chilling. She's honestly a bit closer than I expected, but she's not about to fight two dudes, you know? Yeah, so just like right here. And bro, like if she does peek out, she's not killing two of you on average. It's like, I'm really not worried about it. I'm really, really, really not worried about it. It's hard to explain how not worried about it i am but it's like zero like, let's put you in this scenario let's say you do get all the way here and you hear two sets of footsteps you're probably not just peeking out yeah and then in the clutch you kind of demonstrate that you're not really a, a smokes player even though i think you are a smokes player let me take a look at your tracker yeah you've played enough smokes so i'm pretty sad you're not throwing a smoke down Could have one way spike hell nah dude no 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 you, who cares about that shit? You think this guy's sticking? I don't. I think they're walking. And you probably think that too, because you got your gun out. All you do is huck a random smoke. Out. And then you press TP and you hacking TP somewhere. Like, look at this play, dude. Like, come on. I'm just making this shit up. And don't act like this isn't sick. Like, that's free. Like, they're over here diffusing then this smoke appears they know your pillar they hear a tp they think you're in the smoke and then all of a sudden you're goddamn rafters bro like that is omen whenever you're whenever you're omen you're in the clutch i need you to burn a smoke i need you to burn a tp if you got it and here like the tp is kind of asking to happen over here because you can silently come up the rope and like this seems so strong this seems so strong. I feel like this is 80% clutch conversion at that point. So I'm sad. This clutch is so, so lazy. You're playing Omen. You've got two TPs and a smoke and you just dry fight. Like, it's not cool. Clutch man. Bro, you're on eco round. What's up with this normal default smoke nonsense? Come I want to see a smoke out. there. A heckin' smoke Shadow here straddling. i want to see you tp'ing up here and i want to see you hecking tp'ing up here and hecking shooting guys like come on man let's get crazy it's eco round do some cool shit oh bet i mean this all's pretty unjustified but bet yeah okay okay i like the idea i like it um finally anyways the aggressive tp you want to do here is you actually smoke this box Shadows traveling. and you tp like this Watch them run. My ultimate like that. Is ready. and the audio is so close to this smoke that they will be a hundred percent sure that you are right there they will be so sure about it they'll be like he's right in that smoke but you're actually over here and then you'll have to tp off the box but again, now they're just hearing Omen TP audio from that area. 
and you were like being chilling. Oh, your screen. Bro. Bro. Okay, okay. You gotta, you gotta think backwards. You gotta think backwards because you're thinking wrong, man. Watch, watch. I mean, you're gonna have the right answer. Because I know you're a heckin' smart cookie. POV. You're on a retake and you're taking ramps. What's the scariest thing? You're retaking this way. Clearing these things. Clearing out here. What's the like scariest shit in your mind right now? Guy chilling deep main? Exactly. And this is where every goddamn radiant omen's gonna be. So why aren't you here? Like make it make sense because you know that this is the most annoying thing for them. You've got the game knowledge. Why aren't you here? You play way back here. They try to flush you out. You chill. You like really just stay alive. Oh, you try to flush me out? Nah. Nah. You guys go retake. And then they go retake. And you're like, oh, bet. I'm coming up. They just come behind their asses and they're they're livid. They are livid. You get free main control all game. Main dead. Now this bomb isn't planted too good for late main. Like if you saw the angle that you want to play back here, you want to ask for the bomb to be planted here. This angle is still safe from heaven. So your planter won't feel insecure about that. But it gives you a really good line from your A main like. It's a really strong plant. In fact, uh, we can we can definitely look at the stats on that one. I'm pretty sure that one is gonna be yes, yeah, plant number two. So there's three plants on site. I mean, one that's not exposed to anything. Plant three effectively can also be here. I'm not gonna lie, like the qualities of them are similar. So just planting it for main is upping your round conversion rate by four percent, and of course, planting for heaven is upping it by hecking twelve percent. But like this is a pretty decent improvement, anyways. So like you have main control, you should be pretty vocal to your sage right now. Like yo sage, you can plant in this corner for main. I've got main control because you do have main control. Anyways, I think if you're gonna fight for this, if you're gonna fight like for ramps, I would TP up here. I'd play this way. Like even if this guy hears a TP. You've got two options, okay? If you think the enemy is the type to read into that TP and do this, then TP right here, okay? If you think the enemy isn't gonna really think about that, then TP up here. But do you see how either way you've turned it into a more complicated peak for them? Because now there's a 100% chance your crosshair's on them when they peek, and there's roughly a 50% chance that they peek you. Macro on the intros are, is good. The sage wall. Oh, there was, but we broke it. Good. Got you to heal sage. I like hear I'm dropping the bomb to sage and I'm playing late mid. I'm playing late mid. 100%. Guys, it I, it's too many. You don't need five guys coming out B main. In fact, you'll get in each other's way. There's a tiny choke. But look at this shit. You can't use any util. Your raise just fucked up your satchel. Two right, two right. Oops. Like, do they even have anybody watching mid? This is round 11. <laughs> like, by the time this sage kills your sky, nobody's mid, man. This Raina might come upstairs. Nope. Nope. She just goes CT. Although, to be fair, at this point, they do have info on everybody. So, you got to get more comfortable with these solo lurks, though, because it is definitely your job in this team composition to be threatening that. Like, you don't have a killjoy. You don't have a nice clutch. I don't care, though. You don't have a killjoy. You don't have a cypher. It's you. You're the lurker, my dude. So lurk. You've had no impact on the lurks. You died A main that round on the A retake. You didn't lurk mid at all. I'm not scared of you. And then your clutch potential isn't that good. I mean, let's see your clutch. I bet you just shoot the guy. 30 HP though. It's impressive. Yeah, so you shoot that guy. Yeah, and you oh, shoot that shit. guy. I don't give a f not cool. You will not kill my allies. Holy shit. Just say chill. One enemy remaining. No no. Freeze. Freeze. I'm not even joking. You one way up here. TP up on the side in case they shoot in the middle. Listen for their heck and drop and TP behind their ass. All you do is you come to your sage. Yeah, yeah. Just peek when I TP. Then you're going to TP like this. And if the guy turns to shoot you with his operator, they're dead to your sage. If they don't turn, 
they kill the sage and at that point they forget everything about your tp they're panicked they come out this way you win the round it's like free it's so free please do not dry peek an operator from sight like this is all right but you are just gonna end up fighting them nice. you could even look to um you've got two tps you can even just drop smoke here tp out and you're just listening for drop and now you can even come hell or you can even come around this corner main if you place the smoke well like yeah here see you can come this way like there, there's so much you can be doing you can even hold this line now for your dude like omen is such a tricky agent and you are the least tricky player i've ever seen well, as an omen one trick like you've played so much open your macro on attack was great like i love the calls but your individual play as your agent you may as well have been playing brimstone dude like honestly if you just picked brimstone you probably have gone like eight four because that's how you're playing and don't interpret that as me telling you to pick brimstone interpret that as me telling you to get crazy trust me it's way more fun <laughs> you have to okay this is a problem you have to trust fall because popping these tps randomly feels so dangerous i'm actually gonna pull up so back when prod was like the meme of na's last hope and whatnot you guys remember that i did a a bit with brad where i was like yo brad i'm starting a thing i'm prod omen <laughs> and i would literally just play omen but i would I, i'm just gonna show you i'm just gonna show you pull up the clips last player he said 120 spike down a 100 on the sage. Cover going out. Shadows. <laughs> 30 seconds left. One enemy remaining. <laughs> 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 imagine though that was almost the clip anyways you see i'm like hucking tps i'm hucking smokes i'm tping ignore like the super meme movement the actual tp bit the, that shit's so valid it's so valid i'm sure you've seen crazy tp plays i'm just encouraging you to go for more <laughs> like just tp behind some dudes man like it's not even bad it's not even bad i'm not even smurfing in these clips you know me that's me woohoo jin like look i got my radiant gun buddy and everything i'm not out here clipping on silvers this shit just works okay there's my radiant gun buddy right there okay this shit just works you can do this at any elo it's so mentally freeing when you realize every single player in your ranked game is insecure they're all terrified until you get to like higher elo then everyone's just fucking crazy but like you're an ascendant i i shit you not this guy's afraid of losing 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 this dude afraid of losing this guy believe it or not afraid of losing this guy yep afraid of losing and you yeah you're afraid of losing you just gotta liberate yourself from that shit press some tps press some smokes and let loose you will gain elo i promise i hear anything no it's a lot I'm just gonna I think you got lucky smoke, smoke timing. Okay. So you open your smoke a bit too early here. You should be rotating while you're in this UI if you're gonna open it. I think you're about to throw it anyways, which is the problem. I only want you throwing this smoke. You've got keep in mind you have numbers advantage on this site. I only want you throwing the smoke when they're definitely hitting A. Now you do see a Rainalier wow. right there as you throw the smoke. And so now it is Wuhujin approved. But do you see how with the timing of this, I highly doubt that you were waiting for that Rainalier. I think you were just going to smoke anyways. That makes sense. No, say. I think even without that Rainalier, you were throwing the smoke right there. Because see how there's no way you reacted to that. It's so fast. But anyways, good smoke. I think you got lucky. Shadows, I'm, smoke I'm just going to rush fast. Cover going out. Smoking ramp off. Yeah. I have a flash or I can flash elbow. Spike planted. In, in there, in there. I can flash elbow for you right now. I'm flashing. Better. Three, two, one. Close life, close life on you. Easy. Easy. Uh, outside, new screen and one elbow. Oh, one player. Okay, bro. Okay. Are you ready? I'm going to give you a note. And I'm going to give you strikes on it. Like a, 
a piece. This note is going in your notes and I'm going to enforce it. A close life on you. Specifically on sight takes and retakes, after you get a kill like this, I'm going to mandate in your VOD that you pull out TP and do something dumb. You do something dumb immediately. You get a kill, you pull out TP and you do something dumb. God, it would have been so sick if you TP right here, dude. It would have been so sick. And then you like smoke in front. You like TP in this corner. Dude, like you're winning the round. Dude. Okay, you don't have smoke yet. You get the point. I digress. Like imagine you ended your TP here. It's so good. It's so good. And then you have a shorty. Oh, fuck. Oh, like, you know, these plays that you see these radiant omens make. You're like, wish that could be me. That would literally be you. You kill this guy. You TP here. You whip out your shorty and you heck him. Dude, you'd be so cool. But instead, you're, you're hecking lame. Lame. I don't hear anything. No, he's dead. We're dead. The hell did you just I smoke? Ramp. I have a flash for a take. Yeah, this smoke ramp makes no sense. And you threw another one earlier that was like here. That also made no sense. Watch. The problem with this ramp smoke is your team can't just ignore this shit. Okay, like if they if you throw this smoke, your team can't just hold this all around while the other dudes retake A. The retake requires you to come through main as well. Does that make sense? So the only smoke that's sort of justifiable here, like this smoke's actually good for the attackers. They're gonna work themselves up here and they're gonna play real slow. They're chilling. The smoke that's actually annoying is like you smoke here. This smoke is really annoying. Because now this guy has to either just risk you all flooding out or try to go for a, a greedy timing peak out here which is very risky for them so like i'm down for you to smoke main and cut lobby up like this for your dudes to retake lobby control as you're also retaking out heaven and whatnot because then you have lobby control you can go out this way you can even ignore the threat depending on what it looks like on site where the bomb's getting planted i might even just use one smoke though i might just smoke main and just not smoke anything else and use the other one as my emergency smoke for funny scenarios Sounds like, like look, your teammates already just pushed through your smoke because they had to. Flash and color. Sorry, Sage. Pillar, pillar. Last player standing. We're resulted back side. What the hell is this guy doing lurking mid cringe? What type of omen would do that? What out? Yup. Damn, that guy TP on push, you? Push. Wait, this guy's so much cooler than you. You're going to let this guy one up you? I don't hear anything. Yeah. Door is locked. Yeah, one's on B. Noise coming mid. In sewer is locked. Yeah, you just can't be here. Like, I don't think you need to know that. You have to literally be right here. Like, you can't be anywhere else, unfortunately, yeah, but that's just how it is. Dead heaven. Exactly the chain, man. You can't break that rule. And the fact that you can't break that rule is why it's easy for Radiance to make assumptions about enemy positioning. Uh, the only time you're allowed to break that rule is when you're, I'd say, high immortal or higher. And then you're breaking it willingly, like trying to catch them off guard. Okay. I can help hold I have flash. Oh, I like that. Flashing? Yup, the flash. One more out. Well, I was so down for that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, 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 wait. One more out. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Because your dude's going to peek her from here. What? You got to be ready to reswing. Sage, you should heal the rain. Right oh, bro. Now she could be sight or oh, hell. Or right main? Now. How the hell she get there? You let her get main? Last player standing. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Here's why that fight's good. Because let's say Sage gets here. And then you're going to argue, but with Hujin, now Reyna can't see her. And so I'd be taking a 50-50, right? Wrong. Wrong. You know why this isn't a 50-50? Because this is a tight corridor and that Sage has to walk backwards to get out, which means she is walking with W or S and her movement is highly suboptimal for a gunfight. You've got a big advantage there. This fight rules. Do you really want to be an omen man? That doesn't make cool. He plays a sick mind freak. 
clutches. No, you don't. Attack. Lurk. Bit more solo. Do, do, do. After you get kills on sight hits, do the stupidest TP you can think of. More crazy defense. Honestly, defense is fine. On retakes, after you get kills, do the stupidest TP you can think of. High risk, high reward, baby. I want I want to see the montage next VOD. Okay, ready? Thank you for the VOD.